How do it's Phil Lord Such here and today I'm playing Elite from Firebird. It's at number 16 and they also include top 100 and number 16 was a song by Ringo Starr which I shan't be singing to you because I don't want to hurt your brain or ears. Now Elite came out way back in 1985 and it was a conversion from the BBC Micro one which was uh, done by Ian C.J. Bell and David Braben. Now, David Braben also went on to do the Elite Dangerous, which has just recently been released on the PC. I have a copy of that, too. Now, the uh, Spectrum one was done by Taurus, not Taurus, the star sign, which is mine, which is Bobbins. Uh, Taurus was uh, Philip Mocan, Ricardo J.M. Pinto, Dominic M.N. Pryor, and Mark Withington. Only two people for the BBC, and one, two, three, four for the Spectrum. Why is that? Now, for those that haven't played Elite, again, welcome to Planet Earth. And I'll explain what you need to do if you don't already know, which most of you will. You are a commander, and the main premise of Elite is that you go between this massive space, epic game of trading. Now, you can either do it legally by taking resources between different planets, which is agricultural, and military, uh, technological. So you can take food or uh, raw raw materials and stuff like that. Do it legally and earn cash and keep your status as great and happy. Or you can do it illegally and trade in the black market. So you can do slaves and uh, narcotics, all the rest of it. So you can do it like that. Make cash, become great, upgrade your ship. It's up to you how you want to do. You can have dog fights, there's ships, there's asteroids. It's a great game. Or, should I say, it was a great game. It still is a great game. Uh, it doesn't look as great as I remember. Perhaps I shouldn't have played it now I've played Elite Dangerous. Because Elite Dangerous is beautiful to look at. Especially if you've played it on the Oculus Rift. Then it's beautiful. But now it looks small, it looks tiny, it's very... If you've played games like Dark Star and stuff like that, it's it's not as great as you remember. You know, the, the rose-tinted glasses have started to slide off the end of your old bulbous nose. It's not as great as I remember it being. There's lots of big empty spaces between space stations and stuff like that so I mean I'm not gonna kick it while it's down because it's old I mean this game is 31 years old it's not ugh, spot on if you get my drift however it's still pretty classy don't get me wrong this is elite we're talking about and am I shooting at a space station here I think I'm shooting at a space station I may live to regret that because I am shooting at a space station. Yep, I was shooting at a space station, and uh, now the spaceships that were in said space station are coming to get me. The space stations are where, as I said before, where you do a lot, that trading happens. So, because I was shooting at a space station, a number of security ships are now sh coming out of there and shooting at me, so my shields are rapidly dropping. Uh, if I had a controlled computer docking system I could have easily gone up to it docked in there and begun my trading however I don't and the chances of them letting me in there anyway now are slim to none at all so here I am attempting to get in there uh, well now here I am shooting at it because it's right pissed me off uh, and the chances are I'm going to get shot out of the sky any second now which is crap and doesn't make it really a good video to show you how to do the trading but you know what if you've not played Elite before that's your fault and not mine Elite it was good and slightly still is good it's just not as impressive as I once remembered it to be I think Elite Dangerous has spoiled me but never mind I've still got the memories so TTFN Tata for now Cheerio Bye-bye.